Now let's explore how to solve problems which have money involved. So this one is I have 13 coins in nickels and dimes. The coins have a total value of dollar one and ten cents. How many of each coin do I have? So this is a very simple question but it will help you to, to understand the concept. When we say we have nickels and dimes then what does a nickel mean? Nickel means five cents and dimes let's say D will mean ten cents right? So that is the meaning of nickels and dimes. So value of a nickel is five cents and that of dimes is ten cents. So if you have five dimes it means five times ten cents fifty cents. If you have seven then seven times ten. If you have d number of dimes then it will be d times point one. Do you see that? Same is the case with nickels. If you have ten nickels then the value will be 10 times 0 0.05 correct which is 50 cents so like this we get the value from the coins number of coins so that is how we translate value so it's kind of an important concept to understand and now let's have a look at the question I have 13 coins in nickels and dimes so let me first define the variables so variables for me will be let the number of nickels be n and number of dimes be d right so instead of x and y I'm taking n and d so that we are not lost right we know exactly what we're talking about and the statement which is the very first statement is I have 13 coins in nickels and dimes that means sum of n and d should be 13 right so number of nickels plus number of dimes is 13 that's what it means the second statement is the coins have a total value of $1.10 so that's a total value how do you get value from the numbers you get value from numbers when you multiply them with their respective value. Each nickel is worth 5 cents. Each dime is worth 10 cents. So if I have n nickels, then the value will be 0.05n. And for dimes, it will be 0 0.10 times. And the total value given to us is 1.10. So that is how we get our second equation. Okay? It's kind of very important to understand this concept. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. The unknowns are number of nickels and dimes. And that is what we need to find. How many of each coin do I have? That is number of nickels and number of dimes. So let's solve we can do substitution or elimination method here I will prefer to do elimination right so I'll show you how the second statement or the equation in this case has a lot of decimals so let's get rid of these decimals so what we will do is we will multiply the second statement by 100 so if I multiply the second statement by 100, I get 5 nickels plus 10 dimes equals to 110. So in a way, I have written the equation in terms of cents, right? Now, this is my second equation. The first equation is nickels plus dimes is 13. If I multiply the first equation by 10, what do I get? I get 10 nickels plus 10 dimes equals to 130. You see? So I multiplied the first equation by 10. So what I did was I did times 10 for the first equation and times 100 
for the second equation. Because I want to show you elimination method here, right? So I got two different equations transformed like this. Let me name them as equation 1 and equation 2. As you can see, if I do difference of equation 1 and 2, I can eliminate dimes and find the number of nickels, right? So the next step I will do is, I will do equation 1 minus equation 2. So this is the next step I am going to do. So when I do 10n minus 5n, I get 5n. And when I do 10d minus 10d, I get 0. So I got 5n on the left side and on the right side, I got 130 minus 110, which gives me 20. Correct? Let me show you here itself. Let's take away this from there, right? What do we get? We get 10 minus 5 as 5n plus 10 minus 10 is 0d plus 130 minus 110 is 20. Right? This is what I'm writing here. Now from here we can find number of nickels which is equals to 20 divided by 5 and that is 4. So we know number of nickels is 4. Right? We'll call this equation as equation 3. Now we know a number of nickels, we can find number of dimes from equation 1, the initial equation, n plus d equals to 30, right? So let's substitute this value of 4 in the first equation and find what is the number of dimes. So we know n plus d is 13, n is 4, so I'll write 4 plus d equals to 30, or d is equals to 13 minus 4 that gives us 9 right and therefore we have 4 plus 9 that means 13 coins so it makes sense right now we can write down our answer since we have already found the number of nickels and dimes how many coins do we have the answer is there are 4 nickels and 9 dimes that is our answer. So you can check, is their value $1.10, right? So four dimes, you can check this right here, we'll do it. Nine dimes means 90 cents, right? And four nickels means four times five, 20 cents. So we get 110 cents, which is dollar one ten. So that is how you can solve the question and check your answer. Go through the video once again, try to understand the strategy, and then do the next question yourself. Thanks and all the best.